All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to install and use Git. Uh, so first things first, you're gonna wanna have an account on github.com or Bitbucket. Uh, these are the two basic websites which are fairly easy to use. Um, next, you're gonna wanna install Git. So you're gonna use the command sudo apt git install git. Now that that's installed, we're going to set it up for our account. So you're going to use the command git config dash dash global user dot name and put your username in here. In my case, it's Weston Danger. Next, we're going to use the command git config.global.user.email. You're going to enter your user email in here. In my case, it's six. All right. So now it's set up to use our email account. So next, we're going to create a repository on GitHub. So you're going to go into here. You're going to click on this link up here, create a new repo. We're going to call this one Git Test. And you can add a description, testing Git. And choose the option public. Private, you have to pay for. So we're going to click Create Repository. Now, we're just going to make some changes to it just to show you how it all works. So now that we're going to want to move to our home folder, now we're going to create a folder with the same name as our repository. So in my case, it's git test. So use the command make dir git test. Now we're going to move into that. Now we're going to use the command git init to initialize git in this folder. Now we're going to create a file called readme. This is just to show how it works. gedit readme. So we're going to write testing out github. And save that file. Now we are going to use the command git add dot. This adds all the files in the current folder. So this will update everything. So we're going to use the command git commit dash m for message. And we're going to write in here first commit. It's just a basic description on it to help other people. Now we are going to set it up so that it uses our repository git add origin https dot dot slash slash github dot com slash Weston Ganger which is my username and then use git test which is the prod or the repository name dot git All right so you only have to do that once for this folder and now it's set up so next we're going to use the command git push origin master so it's going to use the master branch of our repository. So now enter your credentials here. So next time you push, you only need to write git push. All right, so now that that's set up, we're going to go to our repositories. So I'm going to go to git test. So now we can see the changes we've made. I've added the readme file, testing out GitHub. All right, so now we're gonna make a couple more changes to it. Just to show you what a second commit looks like. Um, so we're gonna open readme again in gedit and make some changes. We're gonna remove this line and write new line, just for example. All right, and I'm also gonna make another folder called test. Alright, 
So now, again, use the command git add dot, or all the thing in this folder, and git commit dash m for message, and we're going to write second commit changed readme and added test. All right, and then we're going to use the command git push to push the commands to our repository. Alright, now we're going to go back here, we're going to click on the code tab, so it shows our second commit now. So now, in the red lines it shows deleted, and the green lines it shows what's added. So this is all the changes that I've made during this commit. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to use Git.